Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I am on my way to work, and this morning has been trying. <laughs> and usually, I wouldn't come on when I'm like, I don't want to say in a bad mood, but when I've kind of had like a rough morning. Um, sometimes mornings are rough for me because y'all know I. I work long days and many of you I'm sure you can relate to this so my work days are eight to six I'm the type of person where I really need my time alone um, just because I feel like it just helps make my day more productive like at least like 15 20 minutes alone but lately I haven't been able to get that because honestly like y'all I was I was getting up at 4 30 a.m. to work out but for the past few weeks actually ever since I went to Miami for vacation I haven't been able to get myself out of the bed <laughs> I'll set my alarm and literally just sleep through it and then end up waking up late so I'm trying to work out at night but I'm really not good about that either but I need to get good about it because I still am not at my goal and I really would have hoped to be at my goal by now um, I'm rambling but now that I'm saying that, I do want to make sure that I thank you guys because on my last video, um, my Sephora VIB haul, all of y'all had some really nice comments to say about my weight loss and I, I really appreciate it because like I know I've lost a good amount of weight but I'm kind of in a time where it's hard for me to lose like these last 10 pounds. It's really hard for me to lose it and so I get discouraged just like everybody. Um, so it's kind of nice that you all can notice my weight loss because when I look at myself I still look the same like I of course when I look at my old pictures I know I've lost weight but like as far as the last couple months I feel like I can't lose any <laughs> so thank you guys for that um, you guys are always really sweet and I wanted to make sure that I let you guys know how thankful I am for for y'all because everybody I mean I'm here on YouTube and this very nice community but a lot of other youtubers don't have sweet subscribers you know so I'm thankful for y'all but anyway so the reason I decided to turn the camera on is number one because I haven't vlogged anything in a long time and it's mainly just because I've been I have been really busy lately ever since I came back from vacation and even before vacation I just been really busy I had the kids birthdays and all that uh, both both birthdays <laughs> And um, <clears throat> I, so that's number one, the reason I'm on is because I haven't talked to y'all in a while as far as in a vlog. And then the other reason that I wanted to turn the camera on is because I've been trying, when, I, when I'm starting to get down or feel down or feel upset or feel stressed, um, I like, I've been starting to try to do things a bit differently switch up my routine and I find that that really helps and I felt like I should share that with you guys um, so like today what I did I was in a bad sort of a bad mood because just children <laughs> well not children one child I want to cooperate and her name starts with a C and her name ends with an E so yeah she didn't want to cooperate this morning and it just a lot of times I'm fine with it, but I think because I'm already tired from staying up late last night that, and I have a headache, it was just like my temper was a lot shorter this morning. I just couldn't deal with it. Like it was just really getting on my nerves today. So then I had to rush and get ready for work, which I hate because that always makes me feel like anxious. And I, like I said, I need my me time and I didn't have that. So as soon as I woke up, Noah was awake literally when I when I was getting out of the bed Noah woke up so then I have to go get him he's fine in his room by himself but I don't want him to wake up Chloe their rooms are really close so and he was starting to get kind of loud so I had to go get him so I really didn't have any time to myself this morning um so yeah I am rambling on and on and losing my train of thought because what I need to cut this thing off I hate these things but anyway um so anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> this might get edited out because I know I'm just all over the place. I don't know what I'm talking about. But like I said, when I'm having like days like that where I'm starting to get stressed, I found that kind of switching up my routine actually helped put me in a better mood. So today what I did is as I'm driving to work and was stressed leaving my house and I sometimes like if I start my day like that, it's going to be a bad day at work. 
So I actually listened to a podcast, which I had stopped listening to. Lately, I have been just listening to audiobooks. Um, every now and again, I listen to music in the car, but mostly just audiobooks. And um, so today, I switched it up and I put on a podcast that's like comedy. And I've talked about the podcast before. I'm not gonna say the name of it because some of y'all are probably like it's kind of you kind of have to be a loosened up person to listen to it. <laughs> but. I just felt like I need to hear something like that this morning like a lot of times I will like if I'm in a bad mood I'll turn on something inspiring and that's what I was getting ready to do and I was like no I'm gonna listen to a podcast and honestly I'm glad I did because that's out of the usual for me and it just it's just lightened my mood like really quickly so I'm gonna get back to that but I did want to come on and share it because I know most of the people that watch my channel, y'all are in, kind of in the same age group as me, so I'm sure you're faced with some similar challenges as me. And so I felt like I should share that um, with y'all because it may help you out too. Just switching up the routine, doing something slightly different can make you feel better. And it, sometimes it's like the littlest thing. Um, and you'll be surprised that it actually works. I was given this advice by someone. It's not like I came up with this on my own, but somebody told me to try this. And so I did, and I found that it has really helped with my moods. So anyway, I hope y'all have a blessed Tuesday. And I plan on making it a great day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hey, you guys. Happy Thursday. Uh, I feel like I look really washed out. I don't know why, though. Maybe it's just the way the glare is on my phone. Hopefully that's not coming through to y'all. But I hope y'all are having a good week. I got this new gloss from Miss Pat McGrath. Um, I know I did a Sephora haul. But there's a part two coming if you haven't already seen it. I actually ended up getting an Ebates gift card. Um, so I went ahead and ordered a few more things that I had my eye on. I still didn't go overboard. But I felt like I spent a lot of money because I ended up getting the a skincare product that's really expensive but honestly I've wanted to try it since it came out it's been almost like it's probably been out I know it's been out at least a year and I've been waiting for like to see a trial size and I saw a trial size come on Sephora site but before I checked out it was sold out so I just went ahead and ordered the big size and used the gift card and so I ordered a couple more things to go along with it um, but I'm still pretty proud of myself because I didn't spend very much of my money it was gift card money um, so pretty proud of myself, not gonna sweat it, but anyway, all that was to say, this is, um, something I got from Pat McGrath and it's in the box cause the box is cute, <laughs> but I have used it. I, um, used it yesterday. Um, so today is my second day using it, but yesterday I took it to work with me and I'm really happy with it thus far. So I'm going to try it out some more. And I wanted to make sure this time that I kind of really, especially products that I've never tried before, like formulas, I wanted to make sure that I try them out early in case I want to return them. Because I don't want to be sitting on products that I'm not using. So somebody just pulled up beside me. So I'll show y'all the product after they get out of their car and stop staring at me. <laughs> I am out of lotion. This is ridiculous. You know when you gotta do this, this is just, I have more lotion at home too. Like I said, I have more lotion at home too, but I need to put some more in my car. Yeah, that didn't do anything. I have lotion in my purse too so I'll get down in a second but anyway so this is the Pat McGrath lip fetish and it's in the color blow up so this is what it looks like it is super pretty isn't that like gorge.org now the packaging for this product is one of the reasons that I justified it this is like a lip balm it does have a tint to it but it's not very um not very tinted so you can do this without a mirror but honestly I get a lot of use out of products like this and these are the products that I end up using like all the way up so I figured I would try it with the discount um, because this just makes me happy when I see it and this will like 
make me happy when I see it in my purse. And I've spent probably close to this amount on the Dior balm before, like um, the Dior Lip Plumper. And I've bought that multiple times, probably like three or four times. So I do like it. Uh. So that's what it looks like. And I like that it's moisturizing and it gives just a slight bit of tint. Hopefully it's showing up on camera, but it's not anything like crazy tinted. But I do like that it also doesn't like accentuate dryness on my lips because sometimes when you have this type of light color, it can accentuate dryness and kind of like settle into your lines even though it may not feel dry. Um, so I'll show y'all, I'll swatch it real quick. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's, it's like a, um, I guess it's like a pinky tone beige color. But yeah, this shade is called Blow Up, but they had quite a few colors. Honestly, for this type of product, I don't think you would need more than one, but I have never swatched like the other color, so I don't know. Um, I've never actually seen those in store. I ordered that online, so yeah, but I like it like an easy everyday lip. And I need to brush my eyelashes because I have not done that yet. All right, so anyway, I'm at a like a mailing place. It's not a post office, but I need to mail off a couple packages that I sold from through Parshmark and then also my mom's Mother's Day card. So today is the Thursday before Mother's Day. Um, so happy Mother's Day to all of you out there who are mothers or who are mothers to dogs or <laughs> are just a mother figure in somebody's life. Like you don't have to be a biological mother to enjoy your mother's day so i hope you guys have a good one and just just even if you're not a mom and i know this day can be difficult for some people and people have lost a mom um honestly the day is kind of awkward for me since nate lost his mom and grandmother in very close uh proximity to each other i think it was within within six months they both were gone so honestly mother's day for me makes me feel i don't know it's just kind of weird I mean, he doesn't seem weird about it, but me, I feel kind of weird about it. So I know it could be a bit difficult, but I'm just praying that you all have a good one and that you just, um, you know, take this day to focus on the people that matter in your life, whether they be a mother figure or father figure. It really doesn't matter. It's just about showing love to each other. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go mail this stuff off. And, yeah, and then I'll catch y'all later so I'll be out and about today because I actually have an appointment at one o'clock and before that I got to go out to the mall and get my husband's anniversary gift which I'm super excited about so <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to take y'all with me in there but yeah I'll talk to y'all soon Real quick before I get in, um, <clears throat> this drink, I want to share it with y'all in case you're on keto and you're looking for drink ideals at Starbucks. This is a cold brew cold foam and the way I order it is instead of using milk for the cold foam to use heavy whipping cream and then no classic. So it's basically just the calories from the cream and like a few calories from coffee. But if you order it just as it comes, you will have carbs because they use the foam they use is made out of milk and then also I think it comes with some pumps of classic in it uh, cl when I say classic <laughs> I'm just talking about like syrup so liquid sugar pretty much um, so you have to make sure you say no classic but it's not like it's an exciting drink <laughs> it's actually kind of like it's kind of like drinking black coffee but the heavy whipping cream gives it a little bit more like smoothness and cold brew like any cold brew that i've tasted actually is less bitter than regular coffee so if you can't drink regular black coffee like iced coffee if you try cold brew that might be something that you're able to drink without even adding any type of sugar or anything to it so try it um if i didn't care about my weight and didn't care about carbs this is not what i'll be getting so I'll say that but this is something that's like a nice compromise that I don't feel like I'm just drinking it and hating it if that makes sense so anyway just thought I'd share that also 
I don't know if y'all saw her, but look who I got with me today. So if you've been following me for a long time, then you probably remember me unboxing this bag. This is a Louis Vuitton Alma PM. I got it for an anniversary gift. It's before I had kids and it was in, when I was in my old house. So it's been at least five years. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a while. And I don't carry it very often. It looks brand new. I mean, I carry it though, but it's not like, it's yellow. So it's not like I can carry it every day. So um, just thought I'd share that with y'all. Maybe later on when I get home, I'll do like a quick what's in my bag. It's not full of stuff, but it's not a popular bag on YouTube. So maybe that's something that y'all will enjoy. So yeah, I'm gonna get going and I'll check in with y'all later. probably saw the gift buying was a success um, I didn't take y'all in uh, Louis Vuitton with me because like as soon as I walked in somebody started helping me and it's just I'm not gonna pull out the phone and start recording while they're helping me so it's not like I was just wandering around for a while then I kind of wouldn't show y'all but you know it tease what it tease uh, but I will tell y'all what I got for him because he does not watch my videos. So, watch this be like the only video he watched. But, um, but yeah, so I had been thinking about, well, first off, let's just say this. My husband doesn't care about me purchasing luxury, but it's nothing that he has to have. So typically, when I buy him gifts, I do like to buy him luxury gifts or, you know, other things that he wouldn't necessarily buy for himself, but, but, but that I know he will enjoy, if that makes sense. So, uh, with our anniversary coming up, this is a big one for us. It's 10 years, so I really wanted to get him something that would last forever and that he would really enjoy and something that was special. Now, is it a necessity? No, but if it's a gift, I don't think it should be a necessity, you know? So I ended up getting him a key ball, which y'all know I have wanted a key ball as well, but <laughs> I couldn't justify spending the money on me. However, I can't justify spending on him. <laughs> Uh, and it's something that I know he will keep forever and ever and it'll last forever and ever especially because it's not something that he'll be using every day so I got him a keep all 55 uh, with the bandolier strap and it's in the monogram eclipse I'm not gonna show y'all because I don't want to unpack I don't wanna, don't want to unwrap the gift wrap or anything but I will insert a picture and most of y'all that watch my channel I'm sure y'all already know what it looks like but I love this key ball so I'm gonna give him his gift prior to our uh, anniversary because on our actual anniversary we will we will be out of town and just in case he wants to take it with him um, I want to give it to him before then so I'll probably give it to him like a couple days before our anniversary um, so I bought him that and then in the little bag you saw the, the pretty color bag um, I bought him one of the LV colognes and the only reason I bought him that is because he actually saw an ad for it on Instagram he was like oh that looks cool now he's never smelled it or anything but he just said he commented which he doesn't always comment on stuff like that so I took it upon myself to go in there and um, smell them and I really liked one of them and I got it for him so the one that I got him is afternoon Sun and I've looked at the Louis Vuitton perfume or colognes like a lot, but I've never actually been started smelling them because I'm like, oh, 250? Nah, mm -mm, not gonna do it. <laughs> That's how much it costs. That's too expensive. But um, I was actually really impressed. And I found one that I want, but I didn't buy it. Um, Y'all know I'm on, on this perfume no buy, but it's nice to know that it smells really good so but I didn't get it because I don't need any more perfume and I have a really hard time spending that much money on myself but for him like he'll probably actually go through his bottle because I buy him colognes every like six months or so and he go like he only has like two so he goes through them because he uses them every day um, so the LV colognes are refillable so if you go through the whole bottle, you can take it in and they can refill it for you for a for a cost, of course. 
but it's nowhere near the price of the full the full um, ball and everything and they also personalize it for you too so I got the um, I got his initials put on the cologne and I got it on the luggage tab for the key ball so today it's Friday and I'm actually getting ready to switch bags so I figured I would go ahead and show y'all what's in them so or what's in the bag and this is the Louis Vuitton Alma PM and this is the color Citron, I believe, but it's no longer being made in this color. Even the bag is being made, but not in this color. Okay, so this is what it looks like unzipped. And I really was yesterday mainly carrying around unzipped. I had the zippers up to probably about here. Um, but that's what I do if I need to reach into it a lot. But um, you really can't tell it's unzipped when I do that. So it's still very secure. I just leave like a little opening. Anyway, this is what it looks like inside, and I have stuff literally just thrown all in there. So I gotta blank out my ID that y'all just saw. <laughs> Cause yesterday I pulled it out for something when I was home and I just threw it back in there, but it's gonna go back in here, which is my YSL card case. And I gotta hurry up because my daughter just woke up. So I'm not gonna show y'all put me in put it in my other bag, which is the Neo Noe. I'm just gonna show you what's in here real quick because I need to go get her insurance card so let's see let me see how i can prop this real quick all right so first up is my mini pochette and then i got my keys which are open for some reason gift card randomly thrown in there that i need to put away i took my uh, agenda PM with me, but I ended up not needing it, but that was in there. Got this zippy coin purse, which is housing all my other cards. So if I think when I'm in this or this type of card case, and I think I'm going to need other stuff, then I'll just throw both of these in there with it. Um, but generally, if I was in like a bigger wallet, I would put everything in one. But it's just that I've been carrying this for like the last probably month or so and didn't feel like switching it <laughs> but this this purse would definitely hold a bigger wallet got my sunglasses case which is empty got my coin purse another gift card i went shopping yesterday and i kind of threw gift cards in there i got these from chick-fil-a i got a salad and it came with these on the side so i kept these um, which I might keep in my purse because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's only one gram of carbs, so it's a nice little snack. So I'll put, I'll transfer that to the other purse I'm changing into. Got my lip gloss. Got this lotion that I wasn't carrying around, but I took out of my car because I need to replace it. So that's trash. And then just napkins and receipts. So this is what it looks like inside. And what you may see down there that's black it's just lint there are really no spots in this bag looks perfect even though i've had it for so long um but i love this bag it's just a nice little happy pop of color and i would actually wear it today except i'm going to uh the doctor for with my kids and it's kind of too cumbersome to try to carry a hand or a, a arm crook of the arm bag so that's why I'm switching to this, which I can put on my shoulder or I can cross body if I need to. Sorry if you see my kids' toys in the background, but yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this and then get Miss Chloe up and I will see y'all later, bye. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Happy Thursday. <clears throat> so today I am very irritated right now. I really am. I'm trying not to let it stress me out because it's just hair. However, I was supposed to get my hair done today. I had an appointment that I set over a month ago uh, to get some Havana twists put in. And the way I found this stylist is through somebody I follow on Instagram. She got her hair done by this person and she raved about how professional they were and how much she loved her hair. And so I found, I reached out to the girl, booked an appointment. And this morning she texted me saying she's sick and that she needs to cancel now let me just preface this by saying i know people do actually get sick 
I know sometimes you you know you can't help it. I uh, I completely understand that. I've been sick before. I mean, I I get it. I get it. My problem with this is it this always happens. This literally always happens to me. It's one of the reasons that I do not like even scheduling to get my hair done because when I schedule something like my schedule is important. I'm not just sitting around all day having tons of time to do stuff and can go at any time like no if I schedule it I set aside time to get my hair done and it's not the fact that she canceled on me because she was sick it's because it just fulfills the stereotype that black hairstyle black hairstylists do this all the freaking time and I'm sorry to say that I wish it was not true but I swear it happens all the freaking time and it really irks me because I know like for a lot of hairstylists they probably feel like oh well you know they don't have a choice this is the option you know um you know because it's it's hard to find somebody to do your hair and they know that and they take advantage of it but why do we do that to our own people why you should even if you don't care about stereotypes and you don't care about fulfilling them why why don't you have more a better work ethic than that why I take pride in my job I try to do the best I can do every single day I go to work. And it doesn't matter if you like the job, don't like the job. You should be trying to do your best and be reliable to people no matter what you do. Like, that's just... Sorry, my mouth is not on correctly. But anyway, let me just get off my soapbox. But I'm really irked because now, like, my hair is looking crazy. So I'm getting, I'm getting ready to go out of town for... My anniversary so I wanted to get the Havana twist put in for my trip so um, last night I washed my hair and I didn't do anything to it because I was getting my hair twisted and I didn't want it to be um, you know you can't put too much product on there so I just put in a leave-in conditioner and that was it so now I got today to do get ready for my trip still because I was gonna do that tomorrow because I was getting my hair done today but now I'm doing it today because I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna be able to get my hair done tomorrow by somebody else or something I don't know so now I need to run errands and I look crazy so I'm thinking what I might just do is go I'm, I'm going to the hair store right now I'm gonna go buy some twists I'm contemplating trying to crochet them into my head myself or letting my or calling my friend and see if she's able to do them she's done them before but it's not what she does like she has a full-time job so I feel bad trying to ask her last minute to do my hair in crochets now initially I was not gonna get crochet hair I was getting like full twists but I couldn't do that myself I mean but I could possibly crochet it but it could be a hot ass mess as well so I'm gonna go to the store get some hair and then try to get stuff other stuff that I need for my trip and then maybe you know I'm just gonna think about it I don't know if I'm gonna try it myself I've watched tons of videos like I know the steps how to do it but I've never actually done it myself so I don't know how that would look <laughs> it could be really bad <laughs> but I feel like I could I'm from only wasting $20 on hair as opposed to wasting $200 to get my hair done and it looked bad so I don't know I don't know because the girl that I was gonna go to I think it was like $160 or something like that and then plus tip so basically $200 I know it would have looked good though but because all her work that I saw like on Instagram and all of it looked good so but that's just the way the cookie crumbles maybe she really is sick I wasn't rude to her or anything but like as I responded back to her she never responded back to me which makes me think that maybe either she's really really sick and is in bed and can't text back or she's just a crappy human being so that's that anyway I shouldn't even be surprised like <laughs> It's just hair. If all else fails, I can wear my natural hair on the trip. I mean, I've done it plenty of times before, but like, I wanted to feel like extra cute because it's my anniversary. It's my 10 year anniversary. 
and I just wanted to get my hair done and feel extra cute but if need be I will rock my regular hair and I'll still be cute so that's that anyway I'm gonna stop complaining I'm not gonna let it ruin my day I'm gonna still get the stuff done I need to get done and I will check in with y'all later sorry for the lighting sunlight is crazy right now so hopefully it's not too bad bye I like this little crop top, but I wish it was a little bit longer. But I like these pants, but I feel like you can see my style. You'll like them a little. So I'm not really happy with that. It's a swim cover up. I have these as a swim cover up as well. Slightly sheer, but perfect for the beach. Too tight here. And don't like the length on me. This one's amazing. I like it. It's a little short. Like, I don't like showing my legs, but it's amazing. I'm not sure about this kimono. I like it, but I don't know. Okay, so it's the end of the night, and I've basically been shopping all day until I got the kids, and yeah, I was kind of on the lookout for not only stuff for myself for vacation, but also a couple things for my husband. He picked up a couple things the other day, too, and we don't always shop before vacation. Well, I usually do a little bit of shopping before I go out of town anywhere, but um, he doesn't usually do it, but he did keto with me um a little bit over the past few months and so he's lost some weight too and so he kind of need needed some new stuff but anyway so i was going to do a try on haul because i'm getting ready to actually start packing you probably see my suitcase and this is my um my duffel bag which i don't know if i'm taking but i might but i figured i was going to do like a pack with me but I I just feel like that's just gonna distract me too much, honestly. So I figured I'll just show y'all all the stuff that I picked up today. I don't really know exactly what I'm taking, what I'm not taking right now. So I'm gonna quickly show you this stuff and I'm actually gonna start packing. And what I think I'm gonna try to do is show you OOTDs while I'm on vacation, hopefully. That is my plan. I really wanna do it because I love watching videos where people are showing how they style certain uh things especially people that are like me where like somebody told me on a video that i'm boring and old <laughs> like i have an old style and that's fine like i am like my style is classic and i like watching people well i like watching people that do all types of things but it's helpful to watch people that have like a classic type style that's similar to mine because it gives me ideas especially if they have a similar body shape to me so hopefully I can get that done for y'all. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you all the stuff I picked up today. Most of it is clothing, but there's a few like travel things thrown in here too. And I'm just gonna start with whichever first bag I got. So first bag is Marshall's. I didn't get much from there, but I did find this kimono, which is gonna be hard to show, but you can see the print and it's really long. Um, I picked this up thinking it would be nice as a swim cover up over one of my bathing suits. Um, one bathing suit that I got, I actually ordered it from Amazon. <laughs> it's like white uh, with blue and pink on it. So I figured this would be nice, a nice cover up for that. And then I'll probably just pair it with like some jean shorts. And then the other thing I got from there for myself was a pair of sunglasses. And the reason I did that is because my husband kind of convinced me that Maybe I should buy some cheaper sunglasses to take out of town. He did sell two. I mean, he bought glasses that were like $60, which is not cheap, but 
they're less expensive than his Louis Vuitton sunglasses. So he just was concerned about losing them on vacation. So I did the same thing, except mine are way cheaper. <laughs> these were $10. <laughs> uh, these were from Marshalls again, but I really like these because they're white. It's different than anything I have. So I think I'll still get some use out of them after vacation. So hopefully I don't lose them, but if I do, I'm not gonna be like broken hearted too much because they're only 10 bucks. Next bag here is Old Navy. And some of the stuff I know is not going with me, but they had these pajama pants that I thought were cute and they feel really like thin and um, comfortable. These were on clearance for only $8.99, so I picked these up. So I like those. And then I saw this t-shirt in there that just says, oh, hey, vacay. And this is not really my favorite color, but I figure maybe on the plane I might wear that. I'm not sure. Or I might just, I like to take things with me when I go out of town to just wear around the hotel room. Like if I don't want to like get dressed besides pajamas. So I might use it for that. I don't know. But I saw these cute pair of shoes and they just are knotted. And these are the chambray. They had these in a bunch of colors. I was going to get the mustard. But I wanted to get something that was different than other things I had in my collection. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I look a mess. Like, I know this I was just playing with. I kind of forgot it was on my head. <laughs> so, sorry, I look a mess. But this is real life, guys. Anyway, I figured these would go with a lot of things that I own. I don't know if I'm taking them on vacation. I'm pretty sure I am. But um, I just thought these would be cute for every day and these were on sale for $15. And then the other shoes I picked up are not going with me on vacation, but I really like them, but they were these leopard like sneakers, which I thought were super cute. And I think these are $24.99, but y'all know Old Navy is always running a sale. So if you like these, then check them out. Uh, I will say that they had these in a bunch of colors too. The leopard was probably the one that looks like I've been purchased the most. And I thought I wasn't gonna find my sale, but they kind of had it like in a wrong spot. And I found my size. So, like that. Next up is Target. <clears throat> Let's see what's in here. This is probably not even vacation stuff, but, oh, I got this. It's a Kristen S. Signature Gloss. Um, it's like a tone enhancing, shine boosting, deep conditioning gloss, pretty much. I've used a gloss like this before. Um, not over this current hair color, but I figured I would try it. These are kind of like, they're not like a rinse. They're like, they kind of just make your hair a little bit more shiny and they kind of boost your color a little bit. So the color I picked up was Copper Penny. So I don't know if I'll try that before I go out of town or after, since clearly I didn't get my hair done and I'm not going to be getting it done. <laughs> I also picked up some more of the Sonia Kashuk Makeup Blender Duo. This is just like the big beauty blender type sponge. And I'm sure I showed all this before, but I don't know if I ever told you guys that I really liked it, but I, obviously I do, because here I am repurchasing it. And then I wanted some bar soap, um, just because I feel like it's easier to carry with me. And then I'll probably just leave it there. I probably won't bring it back, but I picked up this one by Raw Sugar is the brand name. And I really like their body washes. I've been meaning to share that with y'all actually, but. So I decided to go ahead and try this bar and it's called, it's the raw, co raw coconut and mango is the scent. And it has these little nubbies on it. So we'll see, there's two bars in here. So I'll take one with me. And then I also saw this little shower gel. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and get this too. This is only like a dollar and something, but this is by Method and it's a citrus ginger sea buckthorn. And I just really like the scent of this. So I figured I would take that with me too. It was very like refresh, refreshing and energizing. And I needed some new deodorant, so I got the Dove that I always use. All right, last up is where I got the most stuff from. That's TJ Maxx. So first thing in my bag is this. And these are like little packing mesh pouches. Well, you can use them for whatever you want, but I'm gonna use them to pack stuff in, like my swimsuits. I do have packing cubes. Ooh. Uh, I just thought about it. I My husband pulled our suitcases out. There, We actually keep our suitcases in Noah's closet. 
And my packing cubes, I think, are still in there. I don't think he pulled them out. So that's a bummer. But anyway, so I'll use these similar to like packing cubes. I'll probably put like swimsuits or other stuff in there. So this was only $5.99. I got this, which is not for travel. I just wanted to try this uh, brush cleaning mat. So... I got this for dirty laundry, and this is just like a foldable uh, laundry bag. So you can see it's in this shape, and then it will expand to that. Uh, usually, I just put my dirty laundry in a plastic bag, but <laughs> here we are. <laughs> this was $6.99, so at least I can reuse that. <laughs> More things I don't need this bag bungee so i saw somebody talk about this on a video um but basically it's just like a strap where you can strap something to the top of your luggage pretty much anything you want um i don't know if i'm gonna use this but i kind of think i might because the person i saw they were doing it with their never full so it's like a elastic strap and it just holds holds it secure on top of your luggage so we'll see but this was 7.99 I'm sure me, either me or my husband will use this, so. And then I got this little pouch, um, which is, I don't know if you can see or wearing it. It's like a little crossbody pouch that's big enough to fit my phone. So the reason I bought this is because I don't know what excursions we're going to do. We're going to a resort. I'm not sure what excursions we're going to do. But if we do an excursion, I'm not going to want to take... Um, any nice purses with me, but I do need to have something to put like my phone, a card case and like lip gloss in. So I figured something like this would be fine um, if I want to do that. And then also, you know, when you go to these other countries, sometimes you don't want to be like too flashy depending on where you're going. Like I'm taking a designer purse with me, but it's going to depend on where I'm going, what I'm doing that, you know, whether or not I'm going to carry it. So that's that. And this was $7.99. I saw some earrings in there I liked. So I got these. They have a little tortoise shell. And I have been seeing these around for like the past few months. Um, like online. So I really like these. They were only $5.99. Y'all see how all these little things I purchased add up? Yeah. I got this. Another little unnecessary thing. But this is what I do, guys. This is a um, a pill case, a pill organizer. So I'm going to use this to put my medicine in and, um, and vitamins in to take with me so I don't have to take any big bottles. And then I'll probably take like some ibuprofen and stuff too. But I can't really unzip it because it's kind of... Let me see. Yep. I like the print on this. This was completely unnecessary though, guys, completely. But I do like that I can just use this as a pouch if I want, or I can use a pillowcase. So you could always use this for like headphones or other little things that you may have with you. So I thought that was cute. And that was $4.99. Picked up some acetone because I'm completely out. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't normally buy it there but I saw it and I was completely out I was gonna go buy some today anyway so there we go and then I picked up this which I definitely didn't need but I thought it was super cute with the watermelon on it it's like a little cosmetic case or pencil case I think I'm gonna use this for my lip products um and then I'll probably put it inside something else it's it's a little big though so maybe not we'll see um, I might use it for my brushes because usually with my lip products and my brushes, I put them in a separate case because I like to have them all together. So if I throw them in my big cosmetic bag, they'll get all mixed up in there. So. That's that. And then the clothes that I picked up are these. And I did try this stuff on because, um, I felt like I needed to. I didn't feel, I didn't want to, but I did, so... Um, I picked up these sunglasses. So I went to TJ Maxx first and saw these. And I like I saw the other ones at Marshall's after. And I really liked the one at Marshall's. So I like 
I definitely like the Marshalls one better, but these will probably go with more. So I'm probably just gonna keep both of them. I think these were like $8. Yeah, they're Sam, Sam Edelman Circus and they were on clearance for $8, so. And they feel good, so I'll probably keep both of them. And then this dress was on clearance for $8. And this was one that I was kind of undecided on, but it's just a, just a dress. It hits me a little bit above the knees. The reason I was undecided on it is just because I don't like showing my legs. I'm sure I've told y'all that before, but I am going to be on vacation. So, I mean, it's going to be really hot. So I don't know if I'm going to wear this or not. Uh, I probably will, but I don't know if I'll wear it after vacation, but it was $8. And I do like it, it's lightweight. It was actually in the section with the swim cover-up. So I don't know if it's supposed to be a swim cover-up, but it's definitely like thick enough that you could wear it out. It's actually lined, so, and it's linen. So it seemed like a really good, good, good quality dress for only $8. And then I picked up these swim cover-up pants. So well, these are a tiny bit see-through, not really, but just a tiny bit. Oh no, no, they're not. I take that back. I really like the fit of these <laughs> and I feel like it will go well with one of my swimsuits. So really like those. So that'd be nice. And then the other swim cover up bottoms that I got were these pants and they're like wide leg. And I did kind of film myself in the dress room trying these on. So hopefully I insert the clips for you if they came out okay. But I really like the print on these and they felt really comfortable and really, really light, like really, really light. Um, and they are a bit see-through, but that's okay when you're at the pool or on the beach. So that's that. I picked up these, which I was also on the fence about, but they are like paper bag waist crop pants. Um, I was a little bit on the fence about these because I felt like they were a little thin and you could see like a little bit of my cellulite. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these, but I don't know. Because I don't wanna wear, I don't wanna take any shapewear because it's gonna be too hot for that. So we'll see. Maybe I just let them dimple show. <laughs> the other thing I picked up was um, this little scallop edge top, which I thought was a really cute color. And just a simple like top that I can wear at night or whenever really. I picked up this crop top and I actually picked up two of these in the same color because I tried this crop top on with pretty much everything and it went with pretty much everything. Um, so I just went ahead and bought two of them because I feel like it's a basic that I'll be able to get a lot of use out of not only on this trip, but um, afterwards too, just underneath stuff. But this is, it's like an off-white. It's not completely like stark white. I'm not sure if you could tell, but it's going to be hard to tell in this lighting. But it's it's not a stark white, but I really like it. And then the last thing I picked up was this kimono. And this one I was kind of on the fence about as well. Just because I don't know if I'll wear it on vacation, but I definitely will wear it in my everyday life because I like wearing kimonos. I like to pair them with like a tank top or like that crop top or some high-waisted jeans or something. So that's that. Um, yeah, so I guess I need to get all this stuff together and start packing and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.